ここでちょっと休みましょう。Everyone, let's say, is human. Everyone is, has the adaptability to be anything on the planet. That's why we can be things. But circumstance and situation, nurture, nature, whatever, not everyone is creative. Not everyone is as. Like, it's not, it's not a survival instinct. I could use creativity to live. Other people will use creativity and die. So I have to fight. So I have to be aggressive and I have to say, you love my shit and fucking buy it. You know, and it's not bad because no fucking plumber ever said, no, you really need to buy this sink. Because when people need sinks, they fucking pay whatever it is they want for that sink. But people don't have this idea that they need art. But they'll watch movies and listen to music and fucking. You know what I mean? It's like, you need art. I've had the luxury of witnessing a culture grow up around me and be in this culture and get to the point where I fucking hate what mass media has done to it. You know, like the act of actually painting on a wall was rebellious, you know, was the statement. I started. Like any other kid was painting, like with the,、uh, you know, putting tags up and blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, you know, like there's a fucking enough letters everywhere. You don't really, do you need another word somewhere? <laughs> so then I just,、uh, one day I just picked up a can and I drew a face. My first face was a p u l l pot. And we cut his head in half. And、uh, it came out really well. And I was like, whoa, this is really, it was just easy for me. Once you get the reference, then you could go. Like, I get my main essence. Because I had, I used to paint and I'd have to paint something in 10 minutes or less, way less, five minutes or whatever. So you have to get the essence of a face, the essence of the expression. You don't want someone to just be a face. Montreal is pretty,、uh, it's like, it's, it's a bombing city. You know, they're trying to bring a positive spin to the city with the mural festival and other events like that, but it's like a, it's very graffiti oriented, like graffiti. And it's great that way because you see the raw style come up. We have、uh, a culture that's very fired up and powerful, like into politics, but it's, it's like a civil war. We're in the middle of it, we're fighting each other, we're not trying to unify. So, it's a kind of chaotic system there too, which inspires, strangely enough, not enough、uh, political graffiti. You can't make a living off graffiti, right? You can bomb all you want. What's your job? Graffiti? Graffiti is illegal. That's what I'm saying. It's not, it's not street art, it's graffiti. Graffiti is something that you do without permission. You know, it's, the reason it's called graffiti when I did it on the street was because I didn't ask for permission, you know? Now it's just aerosol painting. So, this big trend of street art and graffiti, it's like if you paint the, like if you can paint in a, in a sketchbook, you know, like do a tag, look, it's graffiti. No, it's a fucking sketch and you should do your homework. You know, like,、uh, so it's, it's not the same. In my, Worldview, I think art and culture is the most most important thing in the world. Because otherwise, imagine a world without it, you're just making money. But what are you going to spend it on if there was no art? Imagine there was no art. You'd be watching a TV with nothing on it. Because that's art. Like the, even if you don't like television, there's theater, there's movies, there's videos. Okay, none of that. No music. Fuck that. That's art. Nothing to look at. You just have to be in buildings. Creativity is also the highest form of being. Doesn't look to payment or reward as a, as a function. You know, like most things you would say, like,、oh, I'll do this job, I'll get money, I'll eat. <laughs> I'll be like, I'll climb this rooftop and paint this wall. I might die, and no one might see it. <laughs> the, period, you know, that's it. Graffiti is a culture, graffiti is a style, and graffiti is a, is, a, is a way of painting. You see my paintings, that's not graffiti. People say graffiti, and then I show them what I do, they're like, 
Uh, that's not really graffiti, like, you know, I like graffiti. I don't really like graffiti, but I like what you do. I'm not an illustrator. I'm not a commercial artist. I'm an artist. If you don't like what I do, you can fuck off. And that's the way it goes. For example, if you were going to buy a BMW, you would never say, could I put another wheel on here? I think it would look good like this. Are you buying the fucking car or not? If you don't want a BMW, go buy something else and fuck off. You know what I mean? That's the argument. If you don't like my art, don't tell me. Like, I understand. I like your criticism. I want to hear everything you feel about it. I want to see what I'm conveying to you. But if you tell me to fucking change anything, I'm like, that's interesting. Why don't you wear different shoes today? You know, like, fuck you. The reason people come to me and buy my art is because they like my art. There is enough art out there that if they don't like it, they don't have to come. You know, and I'm fine with that because I have a breeding in the fact that I, for over, way well over a decade, I would do art that didn't pay a cent. So I don't really care if you don't buy my art. You know, it's not the best business plan. I'm ready to starve. But like, uh, it's, it's the fact of the matter is that you can't, Sure, there are people that will flip-flop, whatever, but those are mostly illustrators or people, that's the difference between an artist. All I want to do is paint. If someone gives you money, then they have to call the shot. I don't agree with that at all. I don't agree with that statement because I feel that artists are looked more if they're genuine to themselves. For any artist that's out there that's wondering like, oh, am I going to survive? Am I going to make it? You don't know. It's the thing. It's like, pretend you have one life. What would you love to do? Whatever. I'm doing my dream. I've already, like, if I die tomorrow, I've lived my life exactly how I wanted and I've lived my dream. I don't have to wait and work 40 years to see maybe if I retire well. And because there's a bus with my name on it tomorrow that I don't know about, right? <laughs> and once you reach the point where you could think for yourself and then you start that whole thing, of like reading what you want to read because you're finding a train of thought in this world. You're given this gift to like find anything out. So then you look at the person selling the ads and you just see it as another person behind some other desk with some other dream crushed where now he's just selling you fucking toasters at a fucking, you know, like, like an advertising guy and like I really not into advertising at all, but like anything like that, it's just another human being. And once you realize that's not me, that's not my goal. I have to fulfill my goal. And my goal is to be creative. And whether or not I succeed, it doesn't really matter. You know, because I'm already living my dream. So, it's a win-win. But, uh, I don't know. It's a great life. In a nutshell, it's good. I'm happy now. It's good.